recording on everything. Tell them. Are you on court? No. Starting now. They're starting right now. As soon as this song ends, there's a drummer starting.
Jason, yes.
Good morning and welcome to the 13th annual commencement ceremony for the California Military Institute. Bienvenidos a todos y gracias por su apoyo en este año que va muy duro por nuestra escuela, comunidad y país. Gracias. At this time, I would like to welcome our teacher and commandant, Captain David Sibley, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem. During the Pledge of Allegiance and the playing of the National Anthem, military personnel, active duty, retirees, and veterans are authorized to render the appropriate hand salute. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation of colors. Okay, first of all, we're gonna do the pledge. Please place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the plan of our national anthem. Please remain standing until the color guard exit the field. Ladies and gentlemen, be seated. We are honored, truly honored, by all of your presence here today. California Military Institute, I have often said, is the best military institute in the state of California. And it doesn't become that way by accident. That happens because we have the best people working for us, the most amazing teachers, the most amazing classified staff, and incredible leadership. 
and I want to introduce some of them to you today. With us on the stage from Paris Union High School District, Board of Trustees, we have Dr. Randy Freeman here with us today who will be giving a speech later on. I will also read the names of the other board members who were not able to be here today. Dr. Jose Luis Arau, the president, Mr. Anthony Stafford, uh, vice president, Mr. David Nellison, member, Ms. Elizabeth Vallejo, member. Give them a round of applause too, please. Also very excited to thank Paris Union High School District, amazing cabinet members for being here our amazing superintendent, Mr. Grant Bennett, who is here with us today. Ms. Candace Raines, Deputy Superintendent of Business Services. Mr. Robert Bruff, Assistant Superintendent of Educational Services. Mr. Kirk Skorpanich, Assistant Superintendent of Human Services. Mr. Joseph Williams, Executive Director of Technology. I also want to take a moment to recognize CMI administration for their hard work to make this event possible. Dr. Vigo and Mr. Anderson, if they are anywhere here or working, just raise your hand. And our amazing counselors, Ms. Gale and Mr. Murillo. Class of 2021, you made it, you're here. Give them a round of applause, folks. What a year, what a ride. They say when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. In other words, keep a positive attitude in all the difficult situations. Well, class of 2021, you sure made a lot of lemonade this year. There are some really great positives I want to remind you of in spite of all the challenges that I know you guys faced. So number one, you guys know how you would always ask me, hey, can we get a free dress day, Dr. Can we get a free dress day? Well, you just get one free dress day. You got a lot of free dress days this uh, this past year. You, some of you got to do your hair, some of you got to grow your nails out and do all kinds of different things. You got to enjoy yourself and do different things. So there's a lot of positives. And remember those AGI inspections, soggy cold mornings. You didn't have to do that this year. So there's a lot of positives. But putting joking aside, you truly are a class that knows how to remain positive and put a positive spin on difficult situations. You guys are also extremely resourceful. I'm gonna use some of your quotes that I read in the yearbook. The Lila Rangel was thankful for Photomath, Brainly, Slater, Quizlet, and TikTok for getting her through this year. <laughs> Jeffrey said that opportunities don't happen, you have to make them. I love that, Jeffrey. I love that attitude. You guys also have a very high expectation of yourselves and goals. Jesse Arelis said, he said it best, that money can buy you happiness, but it can pay for plastic surgery. So contact him in 14 years when he's a surgeon and your skin is old and wrinkly. And I think he can help you out. I think many of you share the sentiments of Margarita who said that she's not sure about what's to happen next, but she asked the Lord above for strength. You truly are an amazing class that will never be forgotten. Your sense of resilience reminds me of a story I want to very quickly share with you. I want you to go to San Diego right now to Coronado Beach. Navy SEALs training camp. Hell week is in full swing. The instructor was a famous Navy SEAL operator who was looking at the recruits who were struggling to complete the various exercises or evolutions as they called them. This instructor was a legend among legends, amazing diver, exceptional Navy SEAL operator. Perched on top of a small bluff, he pointed randomly at one of the recruits and called over. The recruit came back, said, yes, sir. Instructor said, you know what to do. 
You know what to do, soldier. Time for you to become a sugar cookie. Yes, sir, responded the soldier who immediately plunged himself fully dressed, boots, pants, jacket, and a hat into the cold surf. He then came out of the surf fully drenched and proceeded to roll himself in the sand until every part of his body and uniform was completely covered in sand. Hence the name, Sugar Cookie. And for good measure, he used his hands and began to throw sand upon himself and the rest of his body until he met the instructor's high standards of excellence. You see, Sugar Cookie was an exercise that everybody absolutely hated. And you can see why, because the sand would get wedged in all the crevices of your body and will make you com completing the other exercises of the day absolutely unbearable. Everyone wanted to avoid becoming the sugar cookie. The instructor called the recruit over and then he asked, soldier, do you know why I picked you to become the sugar cookie? No, sir responded a recruit because soldier life is not fair and the sooner you learn that the better you see the recruits hated this exercise and they tried their hardest to please their instructors by finishing all the exercises with the fastest times in hopes of avoiding being picked for this hated exercise of becoming a sugar cookie they hoped if they gave it all and they executed every exercise perfectly, they would be spared a punishment of being deemed becoming a sugar cookie. But the instructors, they knew that this is just not the way life goes. And that no matter how well you prepare sometimes for a mission and how hard you try, things can go wrong at times because life is not fair. And in that moment, as I see, you have two choices. Let me quickly share them with you. Choice number one, feel sorry for yourself. Wonder and ask yourself, why did this happen to me? Why did I do, what did I do to deserve this? Cross your hand, do nothing. Because you feel that somehow the world did not treat you right. Choice number two, which I know you will take Embrace the idea that life is hard and not fair. Challenges come to all of us, but you learn to adapt and overcome and succeed in spite of those challenges. And I hope that is what you learn here at CMI. You will refuse to allow 2020 to define the rest of your life. You will adapt, you will overcome, and you will move forward towards your goals, and you will find success. The Navy SEAL instructor in my story was also an avid cyclist. One morning, as was his custom, he was biking near the Coronado base right next to the ocean. He was biking hard and fast and had his head down, did not see another cyclist coming from his left. The impact was brutal. The other cyclist was able to get up after some time with some scratches and bruises, but the Navy SEAL instructor remained on the ground with significant injuries. In fact, those injuries left him paralyzed for the rest of his life. All those who knew him testified to something amazing that not once did they ever hear him say that he felt sorry for himself. On the contrary, he went on to dedicate the rest of his life creating events and athletic competitions for the disabled and spend his life in service to others. Class of 2021, 2020 was a year like no other, filled with challenges. But you, class of 2021, have led the charge and showed all of us this challenge would not define you, but strengthen you, because you are the Rough Riders. In closing, let me share the words of yours truly, Haley Munoz who said it best, I think. In peace, may you leave the shore. In love, may you find the next safe passage on your travels. And may we meet again, our dear Rough Riders. Congratulations to the class of 2021.
21. At this time, please welcome our Paris Union High School District clerk, Dr. Randall Freeman, who will be our honored guest speaker. What a fantastic morning. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous out here. Don't you wish we could have had this all year long? I feel this is a time for reflection. Looking back and looking forward. We've all had challenges. Look at how you dealt with those challenges. What strategies were effective for you? What did not work well? We learn as much from, if not more, from those strategies that did not work than those that do. As I told my students when I was a teacher, you learn more from your mistakes because you remember not to make that one again. A time for reflection. You're ending a very important critical chapter. Where do you go from here? Well, I'm not going to try to inspire you. I don't think you require that at this point, but I'd like you to think of some things. Endurance, what does that mean to you? Are you able to endure? You appear to have done an excellent job at it now. Will you be able to continue with that endurance for the remainder of your life? Persistence. You don't quit. There are things in life that are just too important to give up on. In fact, the more uncomfortable you feel about it, the more you need to attack it, to address that. We are a social people. We think in past, I know at least in my generation, we felt we had to be able to do it all ourselves, especially us gentlemen here. Oh, I learned that lesson. I was blessed with four daughters. <laughs> Believe me, I could not do it all by myself. We are given two hands. One to reach out to help someone else and one to reach out to be helped. Both are equally important. As I've tried to explain to my daughters, the saying says it's better to give than to receive. I say it's easier to give than to receive. When we turn somebody down, we degrade their importance to us. When somebody wants to help, by not letting them help, we're telling them that they're not important. It is very, very difficult to accept help. When somebody truly wants to help you, that's the most important thing that I can leave with you. Let them help you. We serve our community, we serve each other. We are here for each other. We cannot do it alone. We're not meant to do it alone. We need each other. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Freeman. And first and foremost, thank you and congratulations to these fine about to be graduates, especially their families who worked so hard for this day. Class of 2021, please give a round of applause to all the teachers and staff who've supported you and helped you for this day to become a success. I ask all the teachers and staff of CMI to stand and be recognized. Teachers and staff of CMI, please stand up and be recognized. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Maybe seated. 
The class of 2021 is unique and truly inspiring. Student cadets have earned thousands of dollars in financial aid through federal grant, Cal Grant programs. More than 40 are attending the University of California, California State University, or other four-year universities. 65% will be attending other colleges or technical schools, and a dozen have plans to join one of the branches of the United States Armed Forces. Class of 2021 is comprised of 117 student cadets, and that number, 65%, took all the coursework necessary for admission to a university and had great point averages that would qualify them for admission. This truly is one of our most successful graduating classes ever. The class of 2021 is awesome. Give them a round of applause. And at this time, I would like to introduce Cadet Samantha Duran. The salutatorian for the class of 2021. Hi everyone, and thank you for taking the time to be here. It is, an, it is an honor to be up here, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't terrified. This year was difficult, and I know everyone is really tired of hearing that, so I'm not gonna talk about it. It's been a while since I've seen most of you, and it's strange to think that this might be the last time I do. It's even more strange to be leaving CMI when it feels like I just got here. I would pay money to go back to middle school when everyone would hang out in big groups, and the most important thing to us was when the next free day was. <laughs> This year wasn't what any of us expected our last year of high school would be like. And I don't know if I loved it or hated it. Regardless, I'm thankful for the time I had at CMI. I think it's also important to recognize the people who are a huge part of my life and helped me get up here. I just want to prepare everyone in advance that it might be a little cheesy, but um, regardless, I'd like to say thank you to all for being an example to me and unknowingly being my competition. Your guys' success is truly impressive. Um, to my little sisters, I hope to see you guys up here one day too, and thank you for, every, for making every day of my life as interesting as you do. Most importantly, I would like to thank my parents for always pushing me to try my hardest when I thought I couldn't, and loving me unconditionally when I, even if I failed. Thank you to my father. You are one of the most hardworking people I know and have shown me determination. And thank you to my mother for always being at every game and cer award ceremony and literally anything to support me. To our friends, I don't think we show enough appreciation for. I know I speak for most of us when I say that we wouldn't have gone through high school without you guys. Thank you to our coaches and teammates for how much support you gave us and always being people we can rely on. To our families and friends, Never able to express how grateful we are to have you, but we'll continue to try our hardest to show you. We love you guys and hope it made you proud. One last to everyone for being here supporting us through this year. I wish everyone the best and hope to see you all succeed in the future. Uh, this, this. Thank you, Samantha. I am proud to welcome our valedictorian cadet staff sergeant, Jesse Arlees, to the stage. Please give him a round of applause. Jesse, come on up. All right, firstly, I would like to thank everyone for being here, taking time out of their day to celebrate this special moment for the class of 2021 and for allowing me to speak and represent the senior class. Um, bear with me, I wasn't chosen on my ability to deliver a speech, so yeah. <laughs> to all the CMI and staff and teachers, probably been here longer than most of you, but thank you for an amazing eight years. I don't know what to say if it's been fast or slow, but it's been enjoyable. It's crazy to think that I spent almost half my life in one school. That's usually not the case. 
I still remember when my mom told me I was coming to a military school. I already saw myself getting my head shaved and staying in a little bed. Um, my first, the first thought that came to my head was like, does she really think I'm that bad? Um, yeah, so being here since fifth grade, high school, I mean, it was easy to get into. It was, I didn't really, the only difference was the uniforms. And I guess I would probably have to walk like a little bit further to class. That was about it. So, okay. I quickly realized it was actually more enjoyable than I had thought about. I didn't really recognize all the good things about CMI. I always looked at all the bad things. Why are they always on us about our assignments? Why are they always so on us about our uniform? Why are they yelling at us? But I learned it was all for the good of good. I learned a lot from CMI. This year was everything but ordinary. We didn't get to spend time together, have many senior activities, or a normal senior year, but you've heard all of that. But we are grateful to be here and celebrate the most important tradition that there is in high school, which is a physical ceremony, graduation. Walk the stage in front of our families, turn our tassels together, take pictures. This is something the class of 2020 didn't get to have, and I'm pretty sure they wish they would have. So let's be thankful that we got this. So let's remember our time together. It was short. But let's appreciate what we did get and not everything we missed. The resiliency we have shown throughout this difficult year shows me that each and every one of us will do big things in this world. We showed up to class even though it was very easy to just blow it off and, you know, not graduate. High school itself and many of the people around you see around you right now will become a memory. You will see them no more. We will all go on to do things that we all individually deem successful. Successful. Everyone has their own definition of successful. It could be having a family, having a career, going to the military, anything. So you know, that's all I have to say. Fossil 21 will lead the charge into the future. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. For Bennett, uh, it is my distinct honor to certify to you that the student cadets gathered here before you have met the requirements for graduation as set forth by the governing board of the California Military Institute, the Paris Union High School District, and the state of California. Mr. Bennett, I present to you the class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. Milosavljevic. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I accept your certification of these students. Based on that certification, I now declare these students as graduates of the California Military Institute in the Parish Union High School District. Class of 2021, congratulations. Thank you so much, Mr. Bennett. We want to recognize one of our graduates really quick that could not attend today, but he is going to serve our country, Cadet Staff Sergeant Peter Botello, qualified to enter the Army Reserves as a dental specialist, and he's shipping out on May 24th already, and we just want to give him a shout out. Thank you for serving our country. I'd like to invite at this time to the stage Mr. Victor Maria, one of our dedicated counselors, to read the names of our graduates. Class, please follow the directions of your senior class advisor, Mr. Valovinos, and our other dedicated counselor, Ms. Gail Collins, as you begin moving towards the stage. As they're doing so, I want to say that, folks, this is a time to celebrate. So the usual rules about holding your applause until the end just doesn't apply here today. I want you to go ahead and celebrate. Just be considerate of those who are sitting around you.
Staff Sergeant Jesse Arelis. Staff Sergeant Daniela Torres. Cadet Samantha Duran. Cadet Nicole Franco. Major Jose Francisco Verduga Solis. Sergeant First Class Isar Mejia. First Lieutenant Anthony Carmona. Corporal Fernando Barajas. Major Guadalupe Bedoya. Major Matthew Francino. Oh, yeah. Command Sergeant Major Michelle Samoya Beliz. Master Sergeant Jason Cortez. Sergeant First Class Sierra Hernandez. Sergeant Priscilla Velasquez Ramirez. First Lieutenant Hugo Bencomo. It, Sergeant man. Nicolas Valadez. Captain wow. Kenneth Encarnacion. All right, Kenneth. Master Sergeant Leanne Moore. It, go, Sergeant Nadine Michelle Rodriguez. Sergeant Allison Arlene Montoya. Cadet First Class Christopher Samuel Torres. Cadet First Class, Celali Trujillo. Sergeant Estefania Pina. Cadet First Class, Natalie Prieto. Sergeant America Arroyo Prado. Jacob Hartlow. Sergeant Stephanie Guerrero Aburto. Sergeant First Class Amber Saifu. Okay. Staff Sergeant Anthony Silva. Sergeant Deborah Huetza. <laughs> Staff Sergeant Margarita Martinez. <laughs> Staff Sergeant Jose Javier Garcia Pulido. Second Lieutenant Christian Smith. Corporal Jaden Harris. Sergeant Priscilla Vasquez. Corporal Carla Campuzano Talavera. Staff Sergeant Dalila Rangel. Sergeant Crystal Sausueta. Staff Sergeant Chanel Martinez. Sergeant Edgar F. Morales. Cadet Jason Arellano. Corporal Jacqueline Gallaga. Cadet First Class Yesenia Perez. Staff Sergeant Monica Dominguez Ordine. Corporal Adeline Lopez Valencia. Corporal Lila Reed. Corporal Elvira Godoy. Corporal Andre Morales. Staff Sergeant Alan Alejandro Becerra. Sergeant Ruth Dominguez. Corporal Carlos Carranza. Corporal Diego Arras Ornez. Cadet First Class Christopher Rosales Rosa. Eric Carter, Sergeant Zachary Armstrong, Master Sergeant Kenny Altamirano, Staff Sergeant Ruben Armenta, Master Sergeant Eduardo Rodriguez, Sergeant Jason Salazar, Corporal William Mojarro Franco, 
Cadet Steven Rico. Corporal Carly Maciel. Corporal Sofia Prieto. Corporal Alize Wooten. Corporal Brian Ar. Cadet Daniel Villalova. Cadet First Class Sofia Relas. Sergeant Sara Garcia. Sergeant Marcus Manjares. Sergeant Brian Savala. Corporal Jose Alberto Ella Jr. Sergeant Adrian Vasquez. Corporal Agui Vargas. Cadet Stephanie Hernandez Moreno. Sergeant Alexander Maya. Corporal Kimberly Gaixola. Sergeant Giselle Garcia Hernandez. Cadet First Class Omar Carmona. Corporal Elizabeth Flores Santillan. Sergeant Max Ramirez. Corporal Jesus Donate. Cadet First Class Santiago Mejia. Sergeant Antonio Cardona. Corporal Annette Lynette Palomares Larios. Sergeant Stephanie Vieira. Corporal Giselle Lopez. Corporal Denise Sainz. Master Sergeant Haley Lynn Munoz. Corporal Victor Cuevas. Sergeant April Ramos. Sergeant Riley Bowie. Sergeant Griselda Crespo. Cadet First Class Tarixa Botello. Sergeant Yelinda Guerrero. Sergeant First Class Daniela Ruedas. Cadet First Class Ariana Gonzalez. Cadet First Class Alyssa Cardenas. Corporal Jamie Alvarado. Cadet First Class Zion Dawson. Corporal Gabriel Preciado. Cadet First Class Magdalena Mercado. Sergeant Jose Bautista. Cadet First Class Jesus Alfredo Lopez. Daniel Estrada. Sergeant Carlos Escobedo. Corporal Christian Ibarra. Sergeant Luis Aguilar. Sergeant Ricardo Gonzalez. Sergeant First Class Jeffrey Flores. Sergeant Samira Salau. Master Sergeant Juliana Richardson. Cadet Hector Vasquez. Corporal Gabriel Carlos. Cadet First Class Isaiah Garcia. First Sergeant Alexia Daniel De La Cruz. Sergeant First Class Yasmin Ramirez. <laughs> Round of applause for all our graduates, folks. Congratulations! I invite uh, Cadet Major Jose Verdugo to the stage and he will issue his last command.
CMI graduates, please stand. The turning of the tassel from the right to the left signifies that you have crossed over from high school into your future. Class of 2021, uh, 10, Jen. Place your right hand on your tassel. Rough Riders, leading the charge. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. 